Hey guys, what's going on? I just wanted to show you guys a quick exercise that's going to help you improve your pronunciation in English or any other language that you're learning. This originally comes from an idea from Idausen Ness, who is a pronunciation and flow expert. You can check out his website, mimicmethod.com. I highly recommend you go there and see what he's doing. He's got some really interesting ideas about uh, language learning. So for this exercise, we're going to need the free application Audacity. I'll share a link below which will give you access to this application. You can download it for Mac or PC. So here I already have it open. So once I have it open, I'm just going to upload the song that I want to work with. So I go here, open, then I have right here on my desktop the song from Eminem, Lose Yourself. So let's say I'm learning English and I want to improve my English pronunciation and I like this song by Eminem. Alright, so that's going to show it to you in sound waves. This is the entire song, so we're going to want to zoom in because we want maybe just 10 seconds or so. So I'm going to go over here to where the song actually starts. And I'm going to listen and find a part that I want to imitate. His palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. There's vomit on his sweater already. Mom's spaghetti, he's nervous. But on the surface, he looks calm and ready to drop palms. But he keeps on forgetting what he wrote down. The whole All right, so I just am going to choose this about 10 seconds here. And I'm going to copy it just as if I were copying it on a Word document. So I could either just do Control C or I could go up here to edit and click copy there. So now that I've done that, I'm going to open a new window and I'm going to paste it. So I'm just going to work with about this 10 seconds. So now I have it all highlighted already. And I want to slow it down because Eminem raps very quickly and it might be hard for me to understand exactly what he's saying, to, to hear the sounds. So the first thing I want to do is go over here to effect, which will add an effect. And you might see change speed and you'd be tempted to press that because you're wanting to slow it down, right? But we don't want to do that because when you slow it down with change speed, it also changes the pitch. So that's going to give it kind of like that slow motion sort of sound. We don't want that. So we're going to click change tempo, which does not affect the pitch. So it will be slowed down without lowering the pitch. So to change the tempo, we're probably going to want to change it to a about 75% of the original speed, no less than 66% of the original speed. So to do that, let's say my, my English is pretty good, so I feel confident with 75% of the speed. I'm just going to take this back to negative 25% and press OK. And then by pressing the space bar, it will start playing. So let's see how it sounds now at 75%. So that's much easier to understand. But the point of this exercise is not to understand what Eminem is saying or what the rapper is saying. It's to hear the individual sounds. All right, so the next part in this exercise is we're going to either grab a piece of paper or open a Word document. I personally prefer to actually write this down, but for your benefit, I'm going to do this using a Word document right now. So I have one here already. And now I'm going to try to listen for the individual syllables, the individual sounds, not the words. So let's go here and press play. His palms are sweaty, and he's weak, arms... 
And I'm probably going to want to repeat because if I'm not uh, used to hearing English, or even if I am used to hearing English, it's going to be very tempting to pick out words. And I'm wanting to just try to pick out the individual sounds. So let's listen again. And maybe just a couple seconds at a time even. So what I heard was his Paul Hoobs Ah Swe D. So I'm just gonna write down about five syllables at a time. So though that's the syllables that I heard. You can write them down however it makes sense to you. You can write it down how you hear it in your own language. But the important thing is to pick out individual syllables, not words. So let's do another group of syllables. So I heard knees weak arms ah uh, and then maybe I missed part I'm gonna go back. Knees weak arms are heavy this so then I checked and it sounds like he and v. That's that's what I heard. All right. So we're going to do that for the entire clip and you might want to just go along double checking. So an option for a next thing to do would be to get comfortable with what you've written down, listen to the whole thing a couple times and and check that you got all the syllables, right? But then we're actually going to put this away. We're going to either delete the document or hide it somewhere where we can't see it. And now we're going to start from the beginning. We're going to repeat the syllables that he's saying just from listening, not from reading. The whole point of this is to stop looking at the language and trying to pick sounds out of how things are spelled, which can cause a lot of mistakes in pronunciation in English and just to listen and repeat those sounds. So I'm not going to do this right now. If you look in the article associated with this video, you can actually see me doing this with Katan. So you're welcome to try to memorize whatever song you're doing, but it's not 100% necessary. The next step is going to be to look up the actual lyrics of the song. So you're going to check what you've been rapping with the actual written language now. Now we're going to move to the written language. So here I have the lyrics for Lose Yourself. I'm going to open those up and find the part that I was just rapping. So it starts here. So now I'm going to open up the sounds that I had written down before or just think of them from memory and I'm going to double check them. So let's see, here I had heard his palms are sweaty. So what, what could that mean? And then I look here what I, from what I heard and it says his palms are sweaty with a T. But I heard his palms are sweaty. So maybe I go back and I, and I double check. What, did I get it correct? His palms are sweaty. And then when I check again, the first thing I noticed is that I hadn't heard the R sound, and there actually is a really soft R sound there, so I'm going to change that. His palms are... And then I noticed this is sweaty, but he didn't say sweaty, he said sweaty. I had gotten that correctly. So something that we do in English, if you're not aware of this yet, is that when a T is between two vowel sounds, in American English, the T sound usually changes to a D sound. So we wouldn't say sweaty in American English, we would say sweaty. And this exercise is really great because you're going to notice a lot more things like this. How we link and connect speech in English 
how we change certain sounds, how, how sounds morph, and maybe even how we cut off certain parts of words or we add sounds sometimes too. So pay close attention to this and try this exercise with an entire song. It's a, it's a really great exercise to try to memorize an entire song that you love, to practice rapping it or singing it, and to improve your pronunciation a lot. One last thing, when you finish doing this, you might want to create an account on SoundCloud and upload the song that you just rapped. So let's say that you have it here on Audacity. You could actually open a new window and click this button right here. This is the record button. You could record yourself and then once you record yourself, let's say this is my recording, I'm just going to export it. So you save it somewhere, and then you're going to open SoundCloud, make yourself an account, and then once you make yourself an account, all you have to do is click here to upload, choose a file, and find that recording that you just made. Once you do that, I highly recommend that you share it with your friends on Facebook, share it with us in the forum, there's a link in the article associated with this video, and it's a great way to increase your confidence speaking another language, uh, and even to impress your friends and family that you're rapping in English or another language. Alright guys, thanks a lot for watching, now go out there, improve your pronunciation, let us know if you have any questions, comments, or feedback in the comments below. Be sure again to check out Idaoza's project, it's really cool, minkmethod.com, and see you guys next time. Have a great one.